What's been knobbing on your radar? I don't know, knob knob. What's on your radar? <laughs> uh, I was thinking of uh, uh, scientism. You were talking about that before earlier, right? No kidding. I was talking about scientism because I saw this great documentary on YouTube uh, about C.S. Lewis. And he was talking about scientism when, back when. And uh, that was one of his biggest fears, what, what, to be honest. What do you mean by scientism? Scientism, like the religion of science. Like, oh my God, science is a religion. We have to believe, like, wholeheartedly. And uh, it's gone out of hand, and I think that's what's the main problem today, is, like, there's mm -hmm. too much scientism. And people and not... confuse science and religion, right? That's right, yeah. They believe the experts kind of thing. That's right. So only the few experts, or there's, like, a distortion of science and its methodology. And there's, when you start censoring... Uh, when you start censoring other scientists and you start censoring the dialogue or the questioning or the yeah. skepticism of science, that's when we have a big problem. And I think uh, that's what's knobbing on my radar right now really bad. That is good. Really that is bad. good. Um, but we do have a clip. Now, you, you told me about Stalin and you told me about a, a new work called... Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they uh, had something Lincoln? like that in, in Eastern Europe, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, from uh, Trofim Linsenkoism, right? Linsenkoism, yeah. Yeah, that's, right. that's uh, you know, when, when they refused... Because it can, it can bounce the other way, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, they, they, they can refuse, like, new types of science. So, uh, on, on the one hand, we can embrace the new, the new science without, you know, knowing and it becomes some kind of a, a cult, so to speak, right? Yeah. Because it's not tested, right? Yeah. So you need to have a lot of experimentation you need to, to question it because that's what real real science is and you can check out the documentary below the full documentary because they make a great point uh, that science works by scrutinizing the environment that's right. it's not like the first thing that you find out is is true yeah. remember when when they used to give like cocaine to kids <laughs> no. or DTT they used to spray kids to DTT yeah, or remember right. when they used to smoke the doctors would with uh, would offer camels in I know. commercials yeah so yeah. you know it's not like it's always kind of changing right but it, it, so it doesn't have to be like science has changed and not only the the person at the top the experts tell you that but anybody can find out right? yeah so right. he makes a great, great point the documentary so going back to Lysenkoism it was this guy Trofim Lysenko who in 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 Eastern Europe in, mm -hmm. in Russia yeah. who refused the genetics and they had their own system because it was the capitalist the system they refused everything they came from the West right mm -hmm. because they, they didn't accept their own capitalist way right mm -hmm. their, their capitalist way so they wanted to uh, to, to get their own their yeah. own science right but it was Really, really a pseudoscience which led like this guy and this type of science because that's what it does yeah. it actually kills more people than it, it, it claims to save so it, it, it does get really destructive it can be really destructive in the wrong, wrong hands because I've, I've lived through communism and I, I've seen it happen that way mm -hmm. you know that where injections were or things like that were you know in, in, in the 80s was was uh, uh, the, the and you've seen the, doc, the, the, the movie there's a movie about it with, mm -hmm. with abortions where abortions were banned Right, that's and right. The, the people will do it. That's that's also has to do with science, right? Because they claim that they have the 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 power. So it does it does science in the wrong hands. It can or it can be like because it's the right science at the end of the day. Yeah. It's a tool. Well, I mean, right? you, you look at you look at the SS Reich and and, and what Adolf Hitler did as well. Eugenics was right. a base, was a form of science. People don't pseudo, realize that's pseudo, a pseudo yeah. science. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. They believe that you know if you were from a, a certain genetic stock, you know that that was the genetic, uh, you know, the evolution of man, and that we should be right, able right, to. right. And I think what also the thing about science is what C.S. Lewis was talking about. It dehumanizes. Sometimes if you base your whole life upon upon the scientific method, you can actually re reduce the human being to nothingness, as if they were not important. Um, and then we just become like cattle. We become like just stock. We become I, like... I, I you know, know, man. And I know, man. So, I agree. And I think, this, I think science, like any other discipline, and I think that's what C.S. Lewis was saying, that it should be... Uh, it should be uh, should be available to scrutiny just as much as any other discipline in, 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 in the world. So any other profession, like including medicine, including uh, engineering, because science has got like one, so many disciplines, all scientific principles should be uh, available for scrutiny from even the common person saying, oh, I'm not too sure about that. Like the average person should mm -hmm. be able to write, say, I'm not too sure about that. That's not sound right. I says I would like more information. But to be to be dictatorial about uh, about the science, the way like Justin Trudeau is like, hey, science. They don't believe in science. You know what? I hate when they, when politicians, and Jagmeet Singh used to say that. That would piss me off too. He goes, <laughs> he goes, they don't believe in science, and they don't. And I, okay, you know what? Science is not your buddy, there, Jagmeet. Okay. Number two, all right. Uh, if they don't believe in science, that means they don't. They wouldn't have a. F
a cell phone on them. They wouldn't have a computer at home. They wouldn't have a microwave, and they wouldn't be doing their laundry with laundry soap, okay? They'd be living in the in, in, the, in the 11th century. That's what I'm saying, if they didn't believe in science. It's such a ridiculous statement. It's such a ridiculous statement. I hate it. Yeah, yeah, it's literally impossible to believe, believe, quote, unquote, in science, because belief is only reserved to religious phenomena. I know. Right? It's I like know. You can't really believe, right? You can only believe the proof that is given to you, and that can change, yeah. right? Yeah. Like the, the example that I was giving earlier with smoking and yeah. DMT, you know, yeah. that, that's like the, the things can change, right? yeah, I, I, yeah. I think I yeah. think people are lost, JC. Right? Yeah, I think people lost. are lost in the, in the in the collectivism, right? That's why I, I dress like where's Waldo to to help people find themselves and <laughs> the, uh, pinpoint and you know realize that. Find, find Waldo. You know, finding Waldo, find that center and find the truth and scrutinize. Don't, don't keep settling. Don't settle. You know, always keep searching. That's you right. know, just like you keep finding That's Waldo. Right. That's right. Like you know, um, and, and the other thing too, I always, I always say to yourself, if you cannot grow emotionally, spiritually, or intellectually unless you can look at the uh, at the other side of the coin. Okay, so you always have to look to the other side of the of the of the of the you know the on the other side of the road or the other side of the many perspectives. If you don't. How the hell? You can't just take something absolutely from one scientist. If one scientist gives this opinion, I want to hear the other side. I absolutely. want to hear what the other scientists are saying. Absolutely. Uh, but, absolutely. you know, with <laughs> and all this other crap that's been going on, this whole <laughs> oh, the other scientists don't have, a, don't have a, a right or a voice. Look at what happened to Joe Rogan with Dr. Robert Malone. Right. Look at what happened to Dr. McDougall. What happened to Dr. Roger Hopkins. All these are major scientists in virology, immunology, the Great Barrington Declaration. All been silenced by by mm -hmm. corporate media. Yeah, yeah. And to me, that's worrisome. That's scientism. As soon as you start, as soon as you start like silencing or like uh, hushing the uh, the, the monopoly, opposition, monopoly. Yeah, when you try to take a monopoly on the science, um, that's when I know there's something wrong. Yeah.